went to medical school at the University of Florida in Gainesville. Um, and of all of the things I did in medical school, I found psychiatry to be the most compelling. It was really important to go to a really good training program, one that represented so many different aspects of what was known about the treatment of mental illness. And to me, Yale was one of those places. So I applied to do my residency here. Uh, I was astounded that I got accepted. My first job after joining the faculty was to be the unit chief of an inpatient psychiatric service. The good thing about that job, and actually everything that I've done here at Yale, has been that I had a lot of responsibility, often for things beyond what I was capable of or ready for, but I was always surrounded by incredibly generous and helpful people. I eventually became the director of the residency program and deputy chair for education in the Department of Psychiatry, and then ultimately this job. Well, the curriculum rebuild started with our understanding and commitment to make sure that we provide our students with the best possible educational experience. We studied and reviewed many changes that are going on in the world around us that we knew were impacting the practice of medicine. We looked at the explosion in scientific knowledge, proteomics, genomics. We also looked at the impact of technology and the changing expectations of our students. They want it always accessible and they want it to be up to date at all times. We started by creating a set of new overarching goals. We have now an overarching goal called health promotion and disease prevention that requires us in our curriculum not just to teach about disease and what causes it and how we treat it, but also to think about whether there's something we could have done to prevent someone from getting ill. We have an overarching goal called responsibility to society, teaching about fiscal responsibility as a physician, and also about cultural competence and sensitivity. We've increased the length of our clerkship blocks to 12 weeks. It also allowed us to build in something called the precede, where at the beginning of the block, we teach students a lot of the things that they need to know in order to be successful. Yale is a remarkable medical school. It has an extraordinary reputation, and in so many ways, it has been enormously successful. So one of the major challenges in creating the new curriculum was making the case for change, convincing this medical school community that as good as we are, in order to retain our place as leaders in medical education and best prepare our students for the world that they are entering, it was important to make changes. One of the really wonderful and proud moments was at the last Second Look weekend. We have the applicants meet with our current students, and our current students tell them about what it's like to be a student here. And to see their excitement, enthusiasm, and support for the new curriculum was a wonderful moment. They were talking about the integration of material, about how well thought out the curriculum seems to be, about the teaching of the basic sciences, and the clinical sciences in an integrated way. For us, that was a very special moment. It meant that our students understood what we were trying to accomplish, and even though it's not perfect, they understood the value of the changes that we were making. Mm -hmm.